go down to Rosper's Fall in Plymouth. Got uh, then a Gap Black Fiesta 125, which then makes it mild hybrid. Titanium. So, uh, really nice, simple specification. This particular car's got the additions of the alloy wheels. Ordinarily, the titanium would have a wheel trim. So, uh, got alloy wheels. The car also benefits from driver assistance pack. We'll come back to driver assistance pack presently. But uh, as you can see, it's got tinted glass around the rear of the car. The car also benefits from parking sensors. Plastic boot. So you've got an uh, inflation kit there. It does give you a bit more storage if you need those longer trips. And mild hybrid. All told, a good looking little car. Let's have a look at the interior. I'm looking here at the interior. Titanium, pretty nice, fast little bit of cloth. Sit in the car. The car's not been PDI'd, so it's gonna flash up and say we're in transport mode. So uh, let's just fire her up. Pretty simple dashboard that's nice and easy to read. Uh, really clear to be fair. Then we go transport mode. So So, um, hybrid gauge with a digital speedo. Some of the driver assist functionality. So, we'll come back to that presently. What radio station you're listening to, or if you're Bluetooth streaming, or the car does have CarPlay and Android Auto if you're plugged in with a genuine cable. Bluetooth, obviously, for a phone conversation. And settings. And, and then we've got uh, how much fuel's in the car, so 102 miles, bottom right hand corner. Um, what uh, average fuel consumption the car has achieved. Most of the time, most it's been cleaned. Of course, it's, it's idling, so uh, it's um, not the most efficient in that aspect. Coming across to the Sync 2.5, so this car's without navigation. Of course, Android Auto give, uh, and uh, CarPlay will give you navigation. Um, to literally audio off. Oh, no, and then uh, touch the screen, and there, and there it is, is on. So currently, FM, Radio 4, sounds like the Archers, to be fair. Uh, but to literally change source, we can go to DAB, simple as that, hit stations, Plymouth, and then Park Plymouth. Simple as that. And we can store those settings just like that. Let's turn that off for now. Pairing device obviously is for a Bluetooth perspective. Audio is changing the sound output. And, and settings across here. Uh, so yeah, things like the Bluetooth connection, general settings, so that's you know, degrees Fahrenheit, degrees centigrade. And then how your display looks. Uh, automatic updates is when the car gets connected to Wi-Fi. Goes off and does, does those checks. Coming down, you've got the ventilation down here, you've got air conditioning. Of course, as standard, you have the heated front windscreen, um, which is, uh, many of you know, is, is a Ford standard. And then got traction control, uh, which is the center one, different engine map settings, so eco, normal, or sport, and then turning your stop start off. It's not everybody likes stop start. Let's just go and talk through what the driver assistance pack is, just to look at the uh, driver assistance pack and what it actually gives you. So I can never remember everything that's in it. So, hover over there. So it gives you adaptive cruise control, the traffic sign recognition, the stop and go for automatic. So obviously, that car's a manual, so you don't get the stop and go aspect. Uh, but adaptive cruise control means that as the, uh, you set a speed, you know, 60 miles an hour, for example, on a, on a motorway, and you come up behind a lorry that's doing 56, your car will slow to 56. You pull out to go around the lorry, uh, your car will re-accelerate to 60. Traffic sign recognition means that it's reading the road signs and actually can tell you the speed of the road. 
uh, intelligence speed assist works in conjunction with the traffic sign recognition and you can actually set the car to uh, run at the speed limit for the road. So if the speed limit for the road was 70 miles an hour, the car will run at 70 miles an hour uh, until it comes up behind something that's going slower and then it will automatically slow down and then uh, again that vehicle moves out of the way or go out into the next lane and the car will re-accelerate. Um, driver's impairment monitor is the car is, is watching how you drive and, and is working out whether or not you're uh, getting tired and we can suggest this, uh, uh, brake time. And then lastly you've got autonomous emergency braking. Uh, so essentially if, if the car feels that you're not braking or reacting to a car that's in front of it, uh, it will slam on the brakes. It's a really, really good pack actually for, for not an awful lot of money. £350 that is for, for that pack. Uh, really good value. All down at Vosper's and Clips.